So here we go. Nottingham in the sky blue, Thames Valley in the black. And the first possession goes to the Hoods. Here's Luke Mitchell on the ball. Here's Watts. Looking for options, finds Mitchell, puts up a three. His long rebound, Prince Latte. Latte pushing the ball up. Going right at Watts. No good with his layup attempt. Out of bounds. And it is a Nottingham possession. Luke Mitchell receives the ball. Guarded by Robert Manx Jr. Here's David Watts. Almost thought about a three there. Goes inside Nottingham. And no good from Slavic. Rebound by Watts. Mitchell, they'll reset the play. Long three is off from Delaney Powell. Rebound by Thames Valley. And here comes Martel McLemore, the MVP of Division 2. Puts up a two, is way long. Good pass inside. And the first score of the game goes to Thames Valley. Abdul Sila with the two. Luke Mitchell. And it's stolen away from Banks Jr., but a foul has been called. Early stages of the Division II men's final, tipping off day two of the basketball finals day here in Manchester. Rebound by Slavak off the miss from Delaney Powell, but he missed his handle and it's out of bounds for a Thames Valley ball. Both teams you sense are just feeling each other out here. There's the Nottingham fans making some noise on the far side there. Nice play from Silla. This is the handle for the two. TJ Amu misses the easy shot there. Here's Powell, drives inside. The judge to have been fouled, but it was before the shot. And it's an end line ball to the Hoods. Of course, both teams will be in Division One next season. Both very welcome additions to Basketball England's top flight. Here's Watts. Driving inside his power, blocked by Amu. And now Thames Valley can break. Here's Matt Lamore finishing off the pass from Robert Banks Jr. And he puts it in for two, 4-0 to, uh, to Thames Valley Cavaliers. Nearly said Cleveland Cavaliers, that was rude. Here's Powell. Watts, turnaround jumper, is long, rebound, Slavak is no good. Gets a second bite of the cherry, is still no good. Nottingham have missed a, a few open looks to start this game. They're still scoreless, nearly three minutes in here. And finally, they put in a three-pointer. Hevis Robinson with the shot. Here's Banks Jr. looking to respond. Puts up a two. Is good. Rattles in for Robert Banks Jr. And good defense there from Thames Valley, but Nottingham break out of it. Here's Robinson again for three. No good. Rebound, Banks Jr. Drives into the teeth of the Hoods D and puts it in. And the Cavaliers lead eight to three in the NBL Division Two final. Mitchell Watts looking to put work on Silla. Turnaround jumper is good for David Watts. Experienced forward David Watts. As NBL experience with the Reading Rockets and BBL experience, of course, with Worcester Wolves and Manchester Giants. McLemore thinking about the long shot, decides not to. Looking inside, goes inside to Silla. 
doesn't get it, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Abdu Silla averages a double double this season 13 points, 11 rebounds. At 12 points and 11 rebounds in the Cavaliers' win over Liverpool. And he's no good with his first free throw. Nottingham Hoods fans armed with drums here at the Performance Centre here in Manchester. Silla makes the second. Here is Delaney Powell. Watts thought about a three, no. Passes it instead to Robinson, who misses everything with his. Here's Luke Mitchell driving, floats up, no good. Still gets his rebound off the loose ball. Watts thought about the three and decided not to. Robinson drives to the teeth of the defense. Here's Powell, puts up a long shot, no good. And finally, Thames Valley come up with the ball. Here is Matt Lamore, pulls up straight away for three, puts it in. Martel, Matt Lamore, the Division II MVP, with his first bucket of the game. Here's David Watts, looks inside. Powell with the ball, putting the moves on Banks Jr. Kicks it out. Robertson, all the time in the world, decides to kick it out. And he was right to. Tevis Robertson passes it off and Delaney Powell with the shot and he puts it in. Here's Prince Latte. And Silla goes to the teeth of the D and puts it in. And the Cavaliers lead 14 to 8. Halfway through the first quarter in the Division 2 final. Here's Andre Slavic. Hook shot. Puts it in. Just had enough to get in there. And that's Slavic's first points of the game. Slovakian big man. Here's Silla. Beautifully done. Nice hop step, but gets it rejected by David Watts. Substitutions coming in for Nottingham. Janice Mystery coming in for Slavic. Latte misses everything with his attempt. Look to draw a foul, but nothing doing. Here's Mitchell. And Powell with, off with his three. Here's Martel Matlamore sees a gap. No good, but the foul has been called. He's going to go to the line for two. <laughs> Martel McLemore going to the line for two. And he puts in the first. Martel McLemore, a former BBL player with the Guildford Heat, now the Surrey Scorchers. One of the main options on the Thames Valley side at 29 points in their 97-84 semi-final victory over Liverpool. And he moves on to seven points for the Cavaliers who take a 16-10 lead. Here's Luke Mitchell. Powell pulls up and it goes in. Here's Andre Baptiste in the game for the first time today. Here's Amu. Here's Banks Jr. looking to put work on Mitchell. Pulls up for the two. No good. Foul is called on the play. It's a push on the Thames Valley on the Nottingham player. It'll be Hood's ball. 3.25 left in the first quarter. And the Cavaliers lead 16 to 12. And the ball goes straight out of the bounds. Bit of a miscommunication there. Thames Valley get the ball back. And 
Here is Macklemore. And Baptiste gets the ball back from Macklemore. Looking for options. Amu. Sorry, that's Silla. Sorry, my apologies. Silla looks to take on two Nottingham defenders. Doesn't get anything out of it. There's a scramble for the ball. But a shot clock violation has been called. Good defence there from the Nottingham Hoods. They get that much needed stop in the latter stages here in the first quarter as they look to come back from a four point deficit here. And here is Mitchell. You can sense the defence on both teams is just getting that little more intense. As Mestre goes strong, nothing doing. Baptiste gets the ball, surrounded by Nottingham defenders. Just about kicks it out. Here's Silla going at Watts. Kicks it out, Baptiste banks it in. No, no good. Rebound by Amu. No good, but he's going to go to the line for two. Andre Baptiste had all the time in the world there. I think he was even surprised by the amount of room he had. Thames Valley have the chance to go for two shots and uh, substitutions coming in for the, for the Nottingham Hoods. Delaney Powell comes out. And Tom Ballantyne comes in for the first time today. TJ Amu puts the first one in. And makes the second one. And the Cavaliers take an 18 to 12 lead. Here is Ballantyne, looks for options, finds it in Powell. Sorry, it was Tevis Robertson that came off for Ballantyne earlier. Mestre drives at Macklemore, but nothing doing. Good defence from Macklemore, really patient and getting his hand in the way there. The foul is called on the play. You are watching the National Basketball League finals day here in Manchester. Live on Facebook, presented by the good people at Upstream Media. And here is Baptiste on the ball for the Cavaliers. Runs out of options, good defense there from Powell, but still a no good with his, with his attempt. And here come the Hoods. As we get near to the final minute of the first quarter. Watts, turnaround jumper, rattles around, no good. Rebound by Amu, and here comes Andre Batiste. Drives at Mitchell, loses his footing, but here's McLemore for three. Yes, it's good. Martel McLemore with his second three of the morning. Here's Watts, goes for the hook and he gets it to roll. And we are entering the final minute now, here is Andre Batiste looking for options. Batiste puts up a three and he puts it in, Andre Batiste. Couldn't find many options offensively, so he just thought I'll put it up myself. Drops straight in. And the Cavaliers have their first double-digit lead of the game. 14, 24 to 14. Here's Watts. Nice fake, goes off the glass. Beautiful move from David Watts. And the Cavaliers will surely hold for the final possession of the first quarter. 
Batiste. And a foul is called. Delaney Powell with the foul, that's his second. And the Nottingham Hoods fans did not, uh, did not like that. As Luke Mitchell comes out, Slavic comes into the game again for the final 7.4 seconds of the first quarter. Of an action-packed day here in Manchester. Of course, the Division One women's final follows this. Essex Blades and Angela Ruskin University. And then after that, it's the Division One men's final between the Worthing Thunder and the Himmel Storm. As we bring to a close the senior men's and women's finals day at Bellevue here in Manchester. Final position of the first quarter. And it's in and out from Delaney Powell. And that ends the first quarter here in Manchester in the Division II men's final. And it's the Thames Valley Cavaliers taking a 24 to 16 lead. And we'll be right back. The second quarter is underway. Here's Andre Batiste with the ball. As the Nottingham Hoods fans chanting defense for their team, Batiste goes strong, finds nothing but the backboard. And Mestre loses the handle. And Amu comes up with it. Here's Robert Banks Jr. Batiste pulls up for two. No good. Rebound Slavic. And Nottingham get their stop and they can break. Here is Slavic. Watts on six. Ballantyne driving to the teeth of the Cavaliers D. No good. He was long with his layup attempt. Banks can counter. No good. Martel McLemore was demanding the ball, but Banks thought he'd go it himself. No good with his layup attempt. Here's Powell. Going strong, but no good. Batted away by Ballantyne. Finds no one but Robert Banks Jr. And he puts it in over two Nottingham defenders. And the Cavaliers restore their double digit lead here. Here's Powell. Driving, blocked as well by Silla, but Nottingham still come up with it. And nothing doing there, here's Batiste, long pass to, uh, to Silla. Found no room for his hook shot, but still managed to hit the rim, and Watts slows it down. At the moment, some chaotic offense going on here, but... Uh, a violation has been called. Admittedly not sure what that violation was, but either way, it's Cavaliers ball. Unfortunately, we don't see or, or hear most of the violations called by the referees. So apologies, we don't know what that was. Assuming an eight second violation. Either way, it's Cavaliers ball. Up 26-16 here in the second quarter, early stages. Here's Prince Latte with Luke Mitchell on him. Here's Martel McLemore, goes for three, is good! That's McLemore's third three of the game. He has 13, leads all scorers. Luke Mitchell looking to respond for the Hoods. Ballantyne goes to Slavak, three throw line just inside, kicks it out, but Mistre loses the handle, loses the handle again, and it's Cavaliers ball. Janice Mestre with uh, another turnover for Nottingham and a timeout has been called by the Hoods. Coach Ryan Wesley has seen enough. Of course, if, as I said, if you're on Facebook Live, welcome. Glad you're with us here on Sunday afternoon. There's really nowhere better to, else to be, really, but at home with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and watching the best that Basketball England has to offer. And of course, the future generation have their stage set next week for the Junior Final Fours as McLemore got a bit too fancy there and put it out of bounds. And Nottingham have a welcome stop. They're down 13. And of course, a big welcome to the, uh, the supporters of Worthing Thunder and Hemel Storm who are on their way. 
traveling by coach. There's two coach loads for both teams coming today. And of course, the same to Essex Blades and Angela Ruskin University as Watts in and out with his two. Ballantyne with a very good offensive rebound. Here is Watts, gets contact, nothing doing. The Nottingham Hoods fans are screaming for a foul. And the foul has been given eventually. And David Watts will go to the line for two. It was a late whistle from the official. But David Watts will go to the line for two. David Watts had five three-pointers in his team's 89-65 semi-final win over the Westminster Warriors. Scored 22 points, 12 rebounds for his side in that semi-final. Goes to the line for the first time today and puts in the first one. Instead of the uh, slap of the hands that is traditional, there was a shaking of hands. It was very gentlemanly from Slavik and Watts. And misses his second. And there are Thames Valley Cavalier fans who have travelled all the way from Uxbridge to be here. Martel for another three. This time he's long with his attempt. Here's Powell, Mitchell, Watts, Banks Jr. on him. Watts, long with his two-point attempt. Ballantyne picks up the loose ball and says thank you very much. The drums are beating, the Hoods fans making noise as Batiste sets up the play for the Cavaliers. Sees a hole, goes to the hoop, no good, foul is called. Andre Batiste going to the line for two shots. One of the uh, cornerstones in the uh, Cavaliers lineup is Andre Batiste. Had 19 points in the win over Liverpool, averages about 10, 10 points a game, or well, just, just over 11 points a game, actually. If you really want to be exact, 10.8. And Batiste makes the second one. And the Cavaliers take a 31 to 19 lead. Here in the Division Two final. Of course, these were the top two teams in Division Two. This season, they'll both be in Division One next season. Here's Watts, Slavic, Mitchell, Watts, open three, is long, rebound Slavic, and Watts comes up with it, and Mitchell gets it, and they'll reset. Mitchell driving to the teeth of the defense, and his floater is good. And again, the Hoods fans making noise. Latte inside, blocked by Powell. And it's Nottingham ball. Here's Mitchell looking to break for Nottingham. Watts, Ballantyne putting the moves on Banks. And his layup goes. And Nottingham have a little bit of momentum now as we enter the midway point of the second quarter. Latte, here is McLemore, pulls up for two on the elbow, finds nothing. And the Hoods fans on their feet, they appreciated that, and a timeout has been called wisely by Pete Depish. He's seen that Nottingham have a little bit of momentum and has called a timeout. The Cavaliers still lead 31-23 with 5.22 remaining, and we'll be back in just a little bit. And Nottingham definitely with a little bit of momentum on their side at the moment. Robert Banks, Pete Depish, two coaches for the Cavaliers, wisely calling a timeout. And here we go again. Mitchell pulls up and he finds nothing but net with his pull up jumper. And now the Hoods trail by six. There's a bit of belief now with this Hoods team in this second quarter and a turnover. 
and the ball goes out of bounds. Which way is it going? It's going the way of the Cavaliers, but the officials are just going to have a, a chat about this. Nottingham Hood fans really not happy with uh, the decision. And it's been reversed. It's going to be a Nottingham ball and all is good with the Hoods fans now. They've made up. 4.58 remaining in the second quarter. The last day of NBL action for the senior sides. Of course, the junior sides will have their turn next week here in Manchester. Mitchell for three is long. I think Mestre was going for a, a tip dunk there, but found nothing but his hand on the rim. Watts. Slavic drives to the hoop, nothing going, foul is called on the play. And it's against Nottingham, it's a Thames Valley ball. Ballantyne, a judge to a foul, that's his first foul of the morning. A big welcome to everyone tuning in on Facebook today. Banks, beautiful Euro step, and he banks it in for two. The bank was open for Robert Banks. Watts found nothing but a Thames Valley player. And here is Silla driving strong, and he goes to put it in. And all of a sudden, the Cavaliers restore their double digit lead. Here's Powell, nice move inside, Slavic misses the handle, puts it up, no good, Ballantyne finds nothing but the backboard rebound finally by Abdul Silla and here's Prince Latai. Nottingham are looking to make substitutions here for the next break of play. Matt Lamore stepped out of bounds and it's a Nottingham ball as Ballantyne comes out and Slavic comes out and Malachi Nelson checks in for the first time today number 12 looking for the ball got it found nothing but Robert Banks Jr he's still open and the turnover Macklemore grabs it off Powell kicks it out and here's Banks blocked by Delaney Powell big block and at the other end he's long it's Robinson sorry Tevis Robinson with the block and he's got the ball back here's Watts driving strong blocked by Amu and a whistle has been called and for any Nottingham fans, sorry, that was Tevis Robinson with the big block and the three-point attempt that missed. Nottingham retained possession, though. Mitchell. Robinson is long with his two-point attempt. McLemore with the rebound. And here is Batiste. Prince Latte thought about the three, stepped in. Here's Banks Jr. And Latte again with the ball. Looks inside, great pass, blocked again by Robinson. Tevez Robinson has the ball, drives inside, kicks it out. What's at the free throw line? No good. As the Cavaliers still lead by 10. It's been a bit of a cold spell though for both teams as we enter the latter stages of the half. Here's McLemore. McLemore putting the moves on Malachi Nelson. And a three pointer by McLemore under all kinds of pressure, but puts in a three. Here's Watts.
Goes inside, Mitchell back to Watts. McLemore on him, double team, finds Mitchell. Beautiful pass inside. And Malachi Nelson misses his layup, but gets his own rebound. And good hustle there from Malachi Nelson. Who stripped it off McLemore, who thought he had the ball. And Nottingham Hoods retain possession. Here's Watts. And here's Powell. Delaney Powell driving up. Banks Jr. kicks it out. Here's Tevis Robinson. Mitchell. Turn around from Watts. No good. Just as the shot clock was about to go off. And Cavaliers retain possession up 13 with 1.12 left in the second quarter. Prince Latte on the ball. Oh, show, nearly showed too much of it there to Malachi Nelson. Instead, he pulls up and is no good with his attempt. McLemore has his shot blocked again by Robinson. Three blocks in a very quick space of time from Tevez Robinson. Malachi Nelson pulls up. In and out, rebound, Latte. And here is Prince Latte. As we enter the final 30 seconds of the half. Baptiste goes for two, no good. And there's about a second differential between the shot clock and game clock to end the half here. Watts, Mitchell and the Hoods now look to take up as much time as possible. Luke, Luke Mitchell drives strong, no good, rebound by Baptista. And that'll bring to a close the first half here in Manchester. The Thames Valley Cavaliers take a 38-25 to 25 lead over the league champion Nottingham Hoods in a thrilling first half here at the National Basketball Performance Centre as we bring the senior men's and women's seasons to a close and we'll be right back for the second half shortly. And welcome to everyone that's just joining us on Facebook. I'm John Hobbs guiding you through today's action. This will be the first time there's actual commentary on these Basketball England finals. Of course, we're streamed live on Facebook. And the good people at Upstream Media are presenting today's game. Martel McLemore leading all scorers for the Cavaliers with 16 points. He's played all 20 minutes as well, shooting 55% from the field. David Watts shooting 27% leads the Cavalier, um, the Nottingham Hood, sorry, with seven points. As we begin the second quarter, the third quarter, goodness gracious me, the third quarter here in Manchester as the Division Two men's final goes to the second half. And the Hoods with the first possession. Here is Mitchell with Banks Jr. on him. Slavic, unfamiliar territory outside the key. And a three-pointer to start us off, Delaney Powell. Few dribbles, puts it up, puts it in. Beautifully done from Delaney Powell. And Cavaliers lead is reduced to 10. Amu, good defense from Powell. But Amu finds enough room and puts it in. Here is Luke Mitchell. Watts thought about the three, but decides not to. Here's Tevis Robinson. Driving hard, beautifully done from Tevis Robinson. And he scores. Robinson moves on to five. Shooting two for eight from the field at the moment though. Open three, Banks Jr. But finds nothing but the rim. 
McLemore, he tries his hand at the three and he finds absolutely nothing. Mitchell, and here's Robertson, easily puts it in off the glass for two. And the Hoods reduce the gap to single digits in this second quarter. McLemore driving hard to the hoop and he banks it in through traffic. Martel McLemore leads all scorers with 18 points. The Division II League MVP averaging just under 25 points a game in this regular season. And an offensive foul has been called on Delaney Powell. Too much body contact as he was driving to the hoop to create some space. And the referee thought there was too much. And an offensive foul called. Here's Prince Lato. With Mitchell on him. Nearly showed enough to Mitchell for him to steal it, but decides not to. Two-pointer is no good from Prince Lato. Here is Luke Mitchell putting the moves on McLemore. Showing no fear, driving to the hoop. Here's Robinson. Slavic, no good off the glass. And Silla with the rebound. And he's pushing it up for the Cavaliers. And a block from Watts. But Silla gets the loose ball. And no one around him easily puts it in for two. Here's Powell for two. No good. Slavic with the offensive board. Robinson. And Watts thought about the three, was open, but decided not to. Now Watts takes a three, no good. Rattles around the rim and nothing going. Banks Jr. composes himself and puts it in for two. Luke Mitchell and here is Delaney Powell. Cavaliers up 14. Make that 12 as Powell goes and finishes strong off the glass. Here is Prince Latte with Watts on him. Looks to put the moves on this mismatch. Uses his pace to go inside. Kicks it out. Banks thought about the three. Spins and nothing going. Slavic with the rebound. And here's Mitchell. And Watts can bring it out. Here's Powell. There's Silla on him and dishes it out to Watts who kicks it out to Slavic. Robinson. Powell. A back step creating some room, puts up a three, no good. And the rebound goes to TJ Amu. Here's McLemore. And McLemore puts in the long two. And he moves on to 20. And inside Robinson, thought about the dunk, but just drops it in for two. Both teams finding room in transition and scoring easily at the start of the third quarter. We're midway through the uh, third, nearly midway through the third now. And a wayward pass goes nowhere but out of bounds into a, a fan's hands and it's Nottingham possession. Here is Mitchell. Good defense there from Banks Jr. on Mitchell, but he finds a way out, floats one up, no good. Deserved more there from Luke Mitchell, but his floater didn't go. McLemore for a long two. It's a chance to be a three, he's put it in. Mestre had all the time in the world, and he's short with his two. I think even he was surprised with that. Thames Valley let off the hook there, but right now they are controlling the Division II men's playoff final. They lead 51-36. As gradually uh, more and more fans stream into the National Basketball Performance Center. That was last touched by TJ Amu, and it's Nottingham ball. And straight away, Watts. Nice, clever inbound there from Delaney Powell, and Watts says thank you very much. Here is McLemore. 
putting the moves on Robinson. Turnaround, way off. Perhaps doing too much there. Here is Delaney Powell. Watts for three. No good. Nottingham really struggling from long range here today. Banks Jr. puts up a three. Makes no mistake about it. And the gap is growing ever more slightly here. And a steal from Banks, but it's a foul called. And Robert Banks was just remonstrating with the official and he's been given a technical foul. A welcome break for the Nottingham Hoods who trail 54-38 with 4.24 remaining. And David Watts will take the technical free throw. Robert Banks who averages 19.9 points a game. An athletic, promising teenage guard, but just showed a bit too much vocal cords to the referee and a technical foul was called. David Watts connected with the technical free throw. And now Robert Max Jr. apologizing for his error of judgment. That's sort of, that's nice to see. Luke Mitchell. Picking up the ball here for the Hoods. Here's Watts. Here is Powell, back to Watts. Putting the moves on TJ Amu. Kicks it out, Mitchell drives inside. Here's Mestre, drives in strong, no good. The basket's not being kind to Nottingham here despite the opportunities they've been given. Banks pulls up for three, no mistake about it. And timeout has been called by Ryan Wesley of the Nottingham Hoods. They have struggled to find a rhythm in this third quarter, whereas the Thames Valley Cavaliers have found theirs. They lead by 18 points with 3.53 remaining in the Division Two playoff final. Of course, if you are live on Facebook, if you're joining us live on Facebook, welcome as we into lunchtime. And thank you for all the comments that you've been putting up. There's been a few of them, and I know there's a lot of people watching as well at home, either at home or on a coach coming here or on a car coming here. If you are, hope you drive safe and get, get to us uh, in plenty of time for your game. There are a few Hemel Storm and Worthing fans I see in the crowd. Welcome to them. But right now it's all about the Division 2 men's final. And the Nottingham Hoods have it all to do. They're down 18 with 3.53 remaining in the third. And it's possession to the Hoods. Luke Mitchell with the ball. Here is Watts, thought about the three, decided not to. Mitchell goes inside. Here's Mestre. It's no good, that was Tevez Robinson. This is Mestre. And he passes inside to Robinson who scores. Nice pass from Robinson. Here's McLemore. Beautiful move from Martel McLemore, but finds nothing but a Nottingham Hoods player waiting for the rebound. Here's Luke Mitchell. Nice pass, and Robinson couldn't make it. But Robinson gets the ball. Foul is called. Abdul Silla. With the foul, that's his third of the afternoon. That the foul has been the judge to be on Prince Latte. That's his second, if it is. Powell to the line for two. 
And he puts in the first. And sorry, it's Tevez Robertson who makes that. Apologies to our viewers, I'm getting Delaney Powell and Tevez Robertson mixed up quite frequently here. Here is Andre Baptiste. TJ Amu passes it to Silla. Blocked by Watts. And here is Robertson on 13 points. Finds nothing, he stays on 13 points. Here's Baptiste. Goes strong, nothing doing, but he's going to the line for two. Nottingham Hoods fans not happy with that call. David Watts just chatting to the referee about that as well. But the foul has been called. And Andre Baptiste goes to the line for two. And Baptiste makes the first. And the Cavaliers lead 58. 43 with a chance to make it 59 43. Hopefully, the commentator's curse has not struck Andre Batiste. It has not. And Delaney Powell comes out on four fouls. And in comes Malachi Nelson, who very much impressed in his brief time on the court in the first half. He's on the ball now, and he's fouled by Silla. That is Silla's third foul of the afternoon. As the Cavaliers have a 59-43 lead with 2.20 left. Cavaliers are in the penalty, so Malachi Nelson will shoot two. an action-packed day of basketball here at the National Basketball Performance Centre in the Bellevue area of Manchester. As Malachi Nelson makes one or two. Of course, as it's played, Angela Ruskin University follows this at 1.15 and at 3.30 it's Worthing Thunder Hemel Storm to round off the senior men's and women's season. Batiste goes strong, nothing doing. Thames Valley will keep possession. Two oh six left in the third. Here's Baptiste. Good hands from Malachi Nelson. And it comes last off Baptiste. And it's Nottingham ball. Those are the things that Malachi Nelson has done in this game. He has done the things you don't see on the stat sheet very often. He hustles for every possession, whether it's defensively or offensively. Robinson puts in a three. Is that the lift that Nottingham need with 1.48 left in the third? They trail by 12. And again, there's belief in those Hoods fans. As Matt Lamore, good defense from the Hoods and Luke Mitchell comes up with the ball. Now they have a chance to press. Here's Mestre going strong, blocked by Abdul Silla. Banks Jr. puts it in and all of a sudden that noise has been quietened over at the Nottingham end. Luke Mitchell with the ball. Great sequence of play there from both teams. Luke Mitchell. Watts thought about the three but decided not to. Mitchell, four on the shot clock. Mestre finds nothing and Silla comes up with the rebound as we enter the final minute of the third quarter. And Baptiste with the ball. Flanked by two Nottingham players, finds Macklemore who makes no mistake about it. Macklemore moves on to 25. And a turnover there from Nottingham and Thames Valley can break. They have numbers here. Banks open three, no good. Rebound 
by Mestre. And Watts slows it down and Malachi Nelson will hold it for the final possession. Here's Watts. Luke Mitchell with the ball. Mestre drives Adamu, finds nothing. And Andre Baptiste with three Nottingham players on him. Smart, wisely decides to throw it at a Nottingham player for a Thames Valley possession. Here is Banks Jr. with one second left. It's a half court heave. It's in and out, but I don't think it would have counted. It was shot after the buzzer went. And that brings to an end the third quarter here in Manchester. One more quarter left, and the Thames Valley Cavaliers take a commanding 63-47 lead over the Nottingham Hoods. Just 10 minutes separates these two teams between Division Two playoff glory. Martel McLemore leads all scorers with 25 for the Cavaliers. Robert Banks Jr. has 18 points. And for the Hoods, Tevez Robinson has 16 points. Delaney Powell and David Watts each have 10 points. But Delaney Powell is in foul trouble with four fouls. A great day of action here in Manchester is promised and we've had a good game here so far between the top two teams in Division 2. They will be in Division 1 next season. Very competitive teams indeed they will be. course if you're on Facebook live and you're just joining us welcome nothing better to do on a Sunday afternoon than watch some quality basketball three fantastic games lined up of course this is the first one as we enter the final 10 minutes of course after this it's Angela Ruskin University against the Essex Blades in the Division 1 women's final and we wrap out the season, the senior men's and women's season with the Division 1 men's final, Worthing Thunder against the Hemel Storm. Here we go, the fourth quarter of the Division 2 men's playoff final. Cavaliers lead Nottingham Hood 63 47. Loose ball picked up by Watts. Here is Luke Mitchell. Mitchell puts up a three, is short. And that came off a Thames Valley player, player, uh, player last, sorry. The Nottingham ball. Watts with the turnaround, is good. David Watts has played in Division One before with the Reading Rockets. Of course has BBL experience as well with the Worcester Wolves and Manchester Giants. Had a double-double in their semi-final win over the Westminster Warriors. His Banks Jr. going strong, beautifully done by Robert Banks Jr. He scores. Here is Mestre going strong. Nothing doing. It's Nottingham possession. Of course, Janice Casemiro Mestre from Hales from Cuba scored 11 points in their semi final win over the Westminster Warriors. Here is Watts. McLemore tips it out of bounds. Still Nottingham possession. Of course, Nottingham known for their three point shooting. They've only shot. Four for 19 from the field. Tevis Robinson goes inside for two, and if they can just go inside and make plays like that, then this game could go down to the wire. But so far, the Cavaliers hold a 14-point lead, 65 to 51. Here's Baptiste. Offensive foul called. Great defensive play from Luke Mitchell, getting his body in the way. 
and that's a much needed stop by the Midlands team Division 2 league champions hoping to come back into this and add a playoff title to their resume for this season Luke Mitchell finally gets the clock started 8.20 left in the fourth early stages Robinson could not pick up the ball from Luke Mitchell's pass and it's a turnover Thames Valley get the ball back Andre Baptiste great defence from Luke Mitchell who got that stop and Baptiste earlier here's McLemore hasn't really seen much of the ball in this fourth quarter Martel McLemore is Baptiste looking to create some space beautiful pass inside great play from Thames Valley Cavaliers it's finished off by Abdul Silla who moves on to 13 points here's Watts great pass himself inside and Tom Ballantyne says thank you very much Tom Ballantyne moves on to six points been an impressive showing from uh, Ballantyne in limited minutes off the bench here's McLemore looking for options puts up a three no good rebound by Robinson Euro steps his way <laughs> somehow got the ball even though it left his hands but he's been fouled and he's going to go to the line for two And the Thames Valley Cavaliers are calling a timeout. And welcome everyone if you're just joining us on Facebook Live, National Basketball League's Facebook page. Today's coverage presented and streamed by Upstream Media, the good people of Upstream Media. 7-10 left in the fourth quarter. Thames Valley Cavaliers hold a 67-53 lead. Martel McLemore on 25 points. Robert Banks Jr. on 20. They're the only players with 20 points. And this man, Tevez Robinson at the line, hopes to join them. He's on 19 right now. as there is a deaf silence, but he doesn't make it to the 20-point uh, club. And the Nottingham Hoods trail by 13. Here is Prince Latai, here's McLemore, putting the moves on Mestre. McLemore backs his man down, pull-up jumper, turnaround is no good. And a rebound collected by TJ Amu, and he's fouled. He's going to go to the line for two. As TJ Amu goes to the line for two shots. And finds the friendly National Basketball Performance Centre role. And that rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? And despite the noise from the Hoods fans, he makes them both. The Cavaliers extend their lead to 14 points. Here's Luke Mitchell. Can the Hoods find their way back into this? Here's Slavak turns over the ball. And Baptiste couldn't find the bounce pass from Prince Latai, and it's Nottingham ball, a welcome stop for the Hoods as they try to claw their way back into this. Here is Mitchell. Robinson for three, no good. Nottingham have not shot the ball very well from distance here in this game. Prince Latte nearly 
push the boundaries of a, an offensive foul by pushing, but nothing going. McLemore kicks it out. Here's Banks. Blocked. Oh, the foul has been called. Mestre looked to have blocked that three-point attempt by Robert Banks, but the referees saw that he fouled his man. So Robert Banks Jr. will go to the line. There's a bit of confusion here. It's actually two shots. The referees have stated to Banks, who thought he was shooting three, that his foot stepped on the line. Misses the first. Six minutes and one second remaining in the fourth. As the Nottingham Hoods fans make some noise for their team. But Banks Jr. makes the second free throw. He moves on to 21. And Delaney Powell comes in on four fouls. Mestre comes out of the game. Here's Mitchell. Slavak. Slavak with a nice turn, but his hook shot is long. Rebound by Mitchell. Drives hard and puts it in off the glass. And a foul is called. And for every whistle that the referees are blowing, the Nottingham Hood fans roar their disapproval. Very passionate group of supporters. It is great to see them in attendance today. Will they be celebrating a victory? Can Nottingham find their way back into this with 5.38 remaining? They're down 14. Here is Prince Latai. And here is Baptiste going strong to the bucket. And here's Matt Lamore. Nothing doing, but a foul is called. That will be on Tevez Robinson. That's his fourth foul. Yes, it is his fourth foul. And Martel McLemore, the Division II MVP, leads the league in scoring with 24.5 points per game. Had an impressive outing in their semi-final win against Liverpool at 29 points. Former British Basketball League player with the Surrey well, the Guildford Heat there now, of course, the Surrey Scorchers. Uh, McLemore makes the first chance to make it a 16-point game, which he just about does. Gets the friendly Manchester roll. And a foul has been called on the Cavaliers and uh, some approval there from the Nottingham Hoods fans. Robinson kicks it outside to Powell. No good with his three-point attempt. Slavic with the offensive board. Here is Powell. Mitchell looking to just reset the play here. Watts and the foul is called again, this time on Prince Latte. <laughs> As David Watts hits a three, but that won't count, of course. Nottingham shooting just four for 20 from three-point land today. Here is Mitchell, back to Slavic. Neat little one-two there. And Slavic finds his hook shot short. And Baptiste comes up with the rebound. And Baptiste, you can sense now that the Cavaliers will just slow play down with each possession they make. Here's Baptiste going strong, no good. Rebound, Luke Mitchell. Luke Mitchell, it's 1v2. Mitchell doesn't matter. Thank you very much. He puts it in for two. And Nottingham need a few more of them. Here's Banks Jr. No good. Rebound, McLemore kicks it inside. And TJ Amu scores. He moves on to six points now, TJ Amu. Here's Watts. 
Robinson pulls up from the elbow and he's good. And here's McLemore driving at Terrence Robinson. Little deflection there, good defense from Slavic. And now Nottingham have numbers here. Here's Robinson, Powell even, sorry for three, no good. Here's Mitchell. Spins, shoots, scores. Beautifully done from Luke Mitchell. His footwork seemed a little all over the place there, but he found enough composure to put it in. And the gap is 12. Banks Jr. Traveling violation. And the Hoods fans are on their feet. 3.35 remaining. A wise timeout called from Pete Depish and Robert Banks. Will the Nottingham Hoods find their way back into this? They trail 74-62, or can the Thames Valley Cavaliers hold on? We'll be right back. 3.35 remaining here in Manchester. A thrilling conclusion expected here as the Hoods fans really making some noise for their team. Welcome to everyone if you're watching on Facebook Live. I saw a comment saying greetings from New Zealand. And it is certainly fantastic to see that people from all over the world are watching this one. Here's Mitchell. Watts puts up a three. Puts it in! David Watts! And the gap is single digits. Can the Cavaliers hold on? Nottingham with all the momentum here. Here's Silla, drives at Watts. No good, rebound by Mestre, and here comes Watts. Watts pulls up another three, he's good! David Watts! With back-to-back -back threes, and now the pressure is on the Cavaliers. All the fans are on their feet here. Here's Silla. Scores beautifully done from Abdu Silla. He moves on to 15 points. And the chance begin. The gap is eight points. Watts to Mestre. Mestre putting the moves on Baptiste. Mestre, no good with his short jumper. Rebound by Silla. Here is Baptiste. Time is on the Cavaliers' side. And a turnover from the Cavaliers. Poor ball handling there from Andre Baptiste. At this stage of the game, trickery is not needed. And a turnover from the Cavaliers. Here is Mitchell. Robinson for three, finds nothing. Rebound by Mestre and he scores. And a turnover. Great defense from the Hoods. McLemore with the turnover. And Thames Valley, you can just feel it, just feeling the pressure a little bit here. 144 remaining. What a start to Basketball England, National Basketball League Finals Day. Watts, long way out, no good. Rebound thrown in! Tevez Robinson with the putback and the slam. Here is Latai. Great defense from Mitchell. Latai, here's McLemore. Turn around three, no good, but he's fouled. What an atmosphere here in Manchester as Mestre picks up his third foul. There is just four points in it. Lamore shooting free throws, misses his first. And the Hoods fans really getting behind their team. And you could just sense the Cavalier fans getting a bit nervous here. 
as Maglemore misses another free throw. Even the MVP is feeling the pressure here in Manchester. Maclemore though makes no mistake and he makes it a two possession game at least for the Cavaliers who seem to be hanging on by the skin of their teeth here. Here's Delaney Powell looking for options, finds it with Mitchell, is fouled by Latte. And that is four fouls on Prince Latte, who has not scored today. Cavaliers are in the penalty, so Luke Mitchell with some free throws here to narrow the gap even more. And he makes no mistake with the first one. Luke Mitchell going to the line for two. What a comeback this has been from Nottingham. Down by as many as 18 points. And he misses the second rebound by Silla. And here is Baptiste with Mestre on him. There's an open lane for Baptiste. Great defense from Mestre. Who's coming up with a loose ball? It's Baptiste gets it and Prince Latte picks it up. The pass was deflected, Banks Jr's got it. Time is on their side here. What a finish to the Division Two men's playoff final here in Manchester. What a way to start the second day of the National Basketball League finals day here in Manchester. A cracking game between the Division 2's top teams who will both be in Division 1 next season. As the Essex Blades look on, they'll be on next against Angela Ruskin University. The game is scheduled to tip off at 1.15. And just a slight delay while the uh, game clock gets reset to 41.2 seconds. It was just a little off. Banks Jr. with the ball. Time still on Cavaliers' side. Up 77-73 here. Baptiste on Watts. Baptiste gets the ball back from Latte. Baptiste, no good. Rebound and the putback by Silla, a vital basket for Thames Valley. Timeout by the Nottingham Hoods. 27.6 remaining. Who's gonna come out on top in this one? Will the Nottingham Hoods come back or can the Thames Valley Cavaliers hang on? We'll be right back. Welcome to everyone joining us on Facebook Live, including Orland Jackman. Welcome, friend, I hope you're enjoying this game. Here we go. Nottingham possession, what can they throw up here? Here is Mitchell, driving strong, great move, blocked by Silla. And oh, smart play from Mitchell, puts it in for two. Off the back, I believe it was off Banks Jr. And a turnover there, McLemore turns it over. And Mestre puts it in for two. And the gap is four. McLemore with it. McLemore goes strong and he's fouled by David Watts. And McLemore fell hard there. He's still down as well. 9.5 remaining. Just two points in it. And Martel McLemore, who was at the line earlier for three, missed two of them, has a chance to redeem himself and make it a two possession game. The Nottingham Hoods fans on their feet here. As McLemore goes to the line, 9.5 remaining. 
Cavaliers up two. And he's missed the first. The MVP is feeling it here. He's feeling the pressure. Can he redeem himself? 28 points, make it 29 for the MVP of Division 2. Is that enough? Or can the Nottingham Hoods force overtime in this thrilling Division 2 men's final? There are a lot of Thames Valley Cavalier fans on Facebook. Nottingham Hoods fans also making some noise on social media as well as in here. Fantastic atmosphere as the players of the Essex Blades look on. And actually now they're starting to leave actually. I don't know if that was something I said. 9.1 seconds remaining. Martel McLemore leads all scorers with 29 points. An impressive outing also from Robert Banks Jr. He has 21. The big man, Abdul Silla, has 17. For Nottingham, Tevez Robinson has 23 points. David Watts, 18. Crucially as well, if this does go to overtime, David Watts is only on one foul, whereas Delaney Powell and Tevez Robinson each have four. Prince Latai on four fouls for Thames Valley. Here we go. Robinson, no good with his three-point attempt. And a foul is called. And a timeout called by the Cavaliers with 5.6 remaining. Game. This has been a great advert for Division 2. Both teams are going to be in Division 1 though next season. And look for we look forward to many more thrilling contests between these two teams in Basketball England's top flight. Time is on Cavaliers' side here. As Andre Slavak tips it out of bounds. On Facebook, Justin Justin Hitchman says that's the game. It's not over yet, Justin. Here is Banks. Mitchell with the foul. Saying that he fouled him much earlier, but the referee's a bit delayed in their, uh, their whistle. Either way, Robert Banks Jr. has the chance to possibly put this game to bed. 2.8 seconds remaining. And can Justin Hitchman's uh, comments on Facebook come true? Misses the first. There is still hope for the Hoods. Banks misses the second. Oh, with a crucial rebound from Silla. And a foul is called with 0.4 seconds remaining. What a rebound that was from Abdul Silla. What a vital board. That looks to be the playoff title winning rebound as well. And Silla with 0.4 remaining misses the first. However, all he needs to do is take his time and just make the second one, which he doesn't. And the rebound has come out, and Thames Robinson's three-pointer goes short, and the Thames Valley Cavaliers hang on to claim the Division II men's final. They have defeated the Nottingham Hoods 80 to 77 in a playoff final classic. Martel McLemore and David Watts sharing an embrace at midcourt there. Martel McLemore with 29 points, leading all scorers for Thames Valley. Robert Banks Jr. with 21. And Abdul Silla with 17 points, but most importantly, the game-winning rebound to seal the win.
for the Nottingham Hoods, Tevez Robinson with 23 points, David Watts with 18, but the league champions come up just short as the Thames Valley Cavaliers take this one 80 to 77. We're going to take a short break, but we'll be right back for the Division One final as the Essex Blades take on the Angela Ruskin University side in the Division One women's final. We'll be back in just a bit.